With your first News at 6 Sports, here's Lee Timmerman. Tomorrow's exhibition volleyball match in Beach between North Dakota State and Montana State has been canceled, but there will be an event. The bus carrying the bison went off of I-94. The school sports information office says the driver and passengers are all safe, and it adds we appreciate the timely assistance of first responders and others on site who helped the team. The NDSU volleyball squad is returning to Fargo tonight. Beach AD Mike Zier says you, Mary, will be replacing NDSU, so there will be an event at the Buccaneers gym. Well, spring football is traditionally the name given to college practices at this time of the year, but with all the snow around, it should probably be called winter football this year. But for teams like Dickinson State, the mission does not change despite the weather. Spring ball is the perfect opportunity to get the younger guys some much needed experience, but at the same time, they have to keep the veteran guys sharp. I think it's probably a little bit of both. I, I think it's a little bit of uh, we we're, we're get our last year's team. We see where we're at with the guys. We have a pretty good idea of some guys who are all conference players. But we really consider our, our main start to be, you know, when we start our summer things and where we know exactly where we're at so we can program everything in there. So it's a little bit of combination, I think, of, of both uh, tying together that 22 and 23 teams. The Blue Hawks have won eight straight conference titles, but they want to advance deeper in the national playoffs. Something we've always been um, pushing is that to take each game one at a time. Um, but obviously there's a bigger goal in mind. Um, and then I think the biggest thing uh, this year is just giving guys some confidence like, hey, we can do something different this year. Um, you know, uh, losing the playoff game uh, first, first round in the past few years definitely takes a toll on people's mental um, game and maybe makes them think like, hey, we maybe can't do that. But um, I think the biggest challenge this year is uh, getting those guys to believe that we can do something different. Last season, the Hawks produced the conference offensive and defensive players of the year, plus the coach and assistant coach of the year. The Umary tennis team heads for Grand Forks this weekend for a pair of conference matches. The Marauders are 5-2 and two in the league, but so are Duluth and Winona. The three-way tie is for third place behind Augie and Mankato. Vita Salienta is in her 11th season as Umary's head coach and says that there is one very important thing her players should take with them every time they're on the court. Staying calm during matches, and that's the big kicker, is when uh, you get too emotional. And then, you know, it's a mental game, so your strokes are not there and stuff. But, and overall, just to enjoy the match, you know, enjoy the competition and stuff. Because you worked hard during practices uh, to, do, to get consistent and be better. Sally Ender and the Mar Marauders face Bemidji on Saturday and Crookston on Sunday. If only that was outdoors, it would be even nicer. It would be better, yes. Yeah.